All right guys, today's video we're gonna be talking about half marathon tips. What are four specific strategies, four workouts that you can use to really get the best performance out of your next half marathon? Uh, I'm gonna be discussing four different workouts that I use to, to get down from 113 that I ran in, in college uh, as a freshman at Malone University down to 10706. And yes, it did take, definitely took a lot of time, took a lot of effort. Yeah. Um, but I think these particular workouts will really get you the results that you're looking for. I had one of my subscribers uh, from uh, India ask me a question. He said, what's the best workout for a fast half marathon and why? Okay, so I thought this over. Um, obviously, I've done uh, numerous workouts over the years, but these four actually five specific workouts I use to, to really drop time. Uh, like I've said in numerous other videos, you always want to be patient with your preparation. It, it takes time to adapt to these workouts. So these specific workouts, uh, I, I want you to eventually start getting used to as you get fitter. Um, it's not going to happen immediately. You're not going to just jump on the track in the first couple weeks and start running stellar workouts. It just does not work like that. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Um, but the first one I want to want to talk about, and I've talked uh, briefly about it in other videos, but it, it, the, the tempo run is key and getting out to 10 miles in length. If you really want to run well over the 13.1 mile distance or 21.1 kilometers, you want to get used to running, get that tempo run out to 10 miles or 16 kilometers. Again, you have to break it up in chunks. Don't just go, you know, none of us can do this. Not not me or anybody else. We don't just jump into to these longer tempo runs. Uh, earlier on in my career, uh, I would start off usually around um, between three and four miles in, in length. And then as I got fitter and got to a point where I could really sustain the pace for a longer period of time, I was able to always perform my best over the half marathon distance when I could get the my 10 mile or my tempo run out to 10 miles. Oh, hell so no. oh, the effort that you want to focus on is running at your heart rate around between 167 and 172 beats per minute. That's going to be right around between 90 to 92 percent of your maximum heart rate. So, and the reason why this particular workout is is very very key is because you're building up a, a large amount of lactic acid and you're eventually over time teaching your body to clear that lactic acid faster than it's building up. That's what yeah. you want to do in order to be able to sustain pace over this entire distance. If you can extend that tempo run out to 10 miles, you are going to be very, very strong over the 13.1 mile distance. A big reason why a lot of athletes fall apart in, in the half marathon distance is just not on a, on a, a lack of effort or lack of motivation. It can be other things too, but a big part of it is just not spending a sufficient time for a long enough period of time uh, training at that anaerobic threshold. Yeah, so you, you do want to extend that out to around 10 miles. And there are other factors that go into running a great half marathon. Uh, obviously, uh, making sure you're drinking enough, making sure you're taking in enough calories, taking those goo packets. Um, you know, you can get about two of those in during a half marathon race, preferably about three to four during a marathon race. But you do not want to neglect that. You want to make sure you get those calories into your bloodstream uh, immediately and you're ingesting enough fluid while you're racing. That goes outside of the workout uh, portion of this particular video, but I really want to stress that as well. If you want to great, run a great half, uh, you have to pay attention to the nutritional aspect of your racing. So make sure you're paying attention to that in your preparation, in your long runs, uh, prepare for that. Uh, the next, the second workout I was, I always focused on doing uh, to, to really run well over the half marathon distance was to run six, get to a point where you're doing six one mile repetitions on the track uh, at your 5k race effort. When I was really fit, I was able to do those at around uh, between 445 to 450 per rep uh, at 6,400 feet in Colorado Springs. And I was usually, I would at, when I was just starting out uh, my training block, I would give myself about three to four minutes rest. And as I got very, very fit, I would give myself around two minutes rest between each rep. So again, there is a process to uh, running well over the half marathon distance. These particular workouts, uh, you want to get to eventually get to a point where you can do six one mile reps. You might have to start off the your earlier on in your season doing three reps and then move it to four and then move it to five and then to six. Get to a point where you can do six of these reps at around your 5k race effort 
with a two to three minute recovery between each rep, that's gonna make you run very well over the half marathon distance because you're running at such faster paces. You're going at 5K race effort. So it's gonna make half marathon race effort feel much more moderate, in control, less aggressive. You're gonna oh, feel in control, no. it's gonna hurt. Uh, but the last 5K of, of this particular race, you wanna make sure you're on point. You wanna make sure you're able to turn over and, and maintain the pace while your other competitors are slowing down. The, the third workout that I really use quite often to get to eventually run 10706 was to do three two mile repetitions on the track at 10K race effort. And again, you, you, you have to build into these workouts. So none of us just jumps jump into this these types of hard aggressive efforts overnight. So be patient with yourself, but make sure you can get yourself eventually uh, if you're doing um, a 16 week block of training, you wanna start running those three by two mile reps around uh, week seven, week six to week seven. So you have some practice. You, you've laid the foundation, you've started doing your, your volume, uh, you've started doing your tempo runs, you're starting uh, to work on your leg speed. Um, and then you can eventually get yourself out to three two mile repetitions. What I did was I would run these when I was very fit and prepared to run. And these are the workouts I was doing right before I broke, uh, when I ran 107.06. Uh, I ran 950, 952.10.01. So it was under an average of under 10 flat per rep at 6,400 feet and at, with a five minute rest between each rep. Like I said earlier on, you're gonna give yourself more rest and as you get fitter, you wanna lower your rest recoveries. So the reason why this is, is important is because again, you're building high levels, you're running at high levels of lactic acid and it definitely hurts to run at these paces, but yeah, it's gonna make you mentally prepared. You're, you're gonna know that you've run at paces that are so much faster than your half marathon race pace. And again, you're clearing, you're teaching your body to burn fat at race pace and conserve carbohydrate. So you have those carbs to uh, rely on in the, in the last 3.1 miles of the race. When your competitors are, are slowing down, you're able to maintain the pace because you have that extra storage. Big reason is we run, out of, we run out of glycogen. We do run out of glycogen if we have not prepared to, on a physiological level, to burn fat at race pace. And uh, we're, if, if you're burning carbs, you're going you're gonna to run out of energy pretty quick. So you do want to conserve carbohydrate and burn fat. Use that fuel source that we have so much of. And again, I've mentioned this. This is probably the most important workout that I did to eventually run 107.06 and 219.35 for the marathon was the long run. It was the hardest workout I did. Um, I, and again, it's not just you don't want to run just long, slow, easy distance every single weekend. You're going to, if you run long and slow and easy, yes, you're going to become a very, very strong, long, slow and easy distance runner. You don't want that if you're trying to run a fast half marathon. So I, I also want to stress that you don't want to run long, slow every single weekend. You want to do that. It's still important to run long, slow and easy, but just don't do it every single weekend. I would alternate running um, one long run easy, followed the next week by a, a more moderate effort for your long run. I stress uh, running at 60 percent, around 60 percent, when you're very, very fit, running around 60 percent of your long run at 160 beats per minute. So this is again what I was doing when I went prior, just prior to breaking 220 for the marathon and running 107.06 for the half. Uh, I would get my long run out to around uh, anywhere from 18 miles to out to 24 miles and I would run approximately anywhere from 10 miles to around 15 miles of that long run at 85% of my maximum heart rate. So the reason why you're doing this is again, you're teaching your body to burn, rely on fat, running at much faster efforts. And again, you're, you're, you're teaching yourself to be uncomfortable for long periods of time. The fact that you're uh, varying up the paces of your long runs is gonna make you dangerous in the half marathon, period. I mean, I, I feel sorry for your competition if you start doing your long runs, not every single weekend at faster paces, again, it's still important to run long, slow, and easy on your recovery long runs. So you make sure you're recovering from those hard workouts. These long runs are probably one of the most taxing workouts I did over the years uh, to run as fast as I did over the, the half and the, and the full marathon distance. The, the last particular workout that I use continually, I was always working on leg speed. You do not want to neglect your leg speed, regardless if you're uh, training for the half marathon or the 10K or the marathon distance. We continually have to work on our leg speed um, 
recruit those fast twitch muscle fibers. And again, you want to, in terms of the workouts that I was doing, I would run, I would run anywhere from 10 to 16 400 meter repetitions on the track. Uh, and when I was very, very fit, I would give myself about 60 seconds rest be between each rep. And you want to do this particular workout at around 3K race effort. Okay. So again, I, I want to stress with these particular five workouts that, that will, in terms of half marathon tips, these particular five workouts were the game changer for me to run huge PRs and, uh, and to run my, even when I ran 219.35, my first half in that particular full marathon was 107.09, only three seconds off my personal best for the half marathon. And I had another half to go. So I know event, my, you know, I know I could have ran faster, but these particular workouts were the game changer workouts. These were the bread and butter workouts that helped me run as fast as I could uh, and eventually run those particular times over the half and the, and the full marathon distance. So I, I hope this particular video has been helpful for you guys to give you at least an idea. And uh, um, Mujalin, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I hope that particular question that you, you asked uh, under the video of the 1959 5K video that I made, the sub 20 5K video. Uh, again, be patient with yourself with, as you're preparing for your half. Uh, always think about progression. Know that the best runners experience the ebbs and flows of, of running great times. You, you'll have bad days. You'll have days where you just don't have the motivation. Focus on your end goals. Continue to visualize success. Visualize what you want to do over this particular distance and allow your, your body time to adapt to these, these physiological changes that are going to be occurring from the hard anaerobic workouts along with the easy recovery aerobic workouts that you guys are doing. So if you guys are brand new to the channel, click on that bell icon, click on the subscribe button. So when I make a new video, you guys will be notified. Uh, hit that bell or hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. it. Helps the channel grow. And if you guys have any particular questions over the half marathon distance or any other distance, feel free to leave me a comment below this video. I'll leave you guys some resources as well uh, below the video. So um, that will help you guys get to the next level when you're racing. That's really what I want for you guys. Um, you know, I, I experienced some of the highest highs in, in distance running, and I experienced a lot of setbacks as well. I have, ex, you know, experienced a lot of poor efforts, uh, both workouts and races over the years. So I know where you guys are coming from, but these five particular workouts will take you guys to the next level. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys, and I'll talk to you guys all in the next one.